Good day fellow investors. Now I have concluded my series on the risks in the stock market and many of you are probably afraid. Okay, if there is so much risk, then why are we talking about stocks? Why are we investing in stocks? Now I really think I owe it to you to tell you how do I see investing now? The first way, the best way I see investing is to own cash. 95% of investors should really focus on cash now. Warren Buffett has 116 billion in cash. That's 40% of his stock portfolio, 40%. And when you calculate that of the 60% of the stock portfolio, I don't know, half of, more of half of it are assets that will never be sold. Our American Express that was bought in the 1960s, our The Washington Post bought in the 1970s, our Coca-Cola bought in 1988 at extremely cheap prices. So those are assets that he will never sell. And when you put it into that perspective, you should also look, okay, what are the assets I own that I will never sell because those are great businesses, great assets that will keep paying dividends for the rest of my life. Those you don't sell. When you see, okay, what is overvalued? What is risky in relation to the market risks? Then you have to see, okay, can I tolerate those things falling 50, 70%? No cash yes okay i have enough cash i have enough resources to buy into those dips of 50 percent that will probably come sometime so cash you should really focus at how much cash you have in relation to your portfolio there are some hedges that can be done i don't know gold miners but or gold but those should be really small parts of the portfolio because those are hedging bets interesting to hold. I have some gold miners in my portfolio, but that's really, really small. I am interested, I'm very interested into looking, researching them to find the best ones for my portfolio. But don't think that if I talk about gold miners, that those are a big part of my portfolio. Those are very risky and therefore should be adequately owned. So one is cash. Number two that you can invest is, but only if you feel appropriately I don't know, equipped to do so, is to really invest in specific situations, specific stocks that you can say, okay, this is now and undervalued. I understand the risk and the reward. It is a good investment. 2017, we have seen a lot of miners go up because copper, zinc has, have increased. Chinese stocks, when I started making the series on Chinese stocks a while ago, July, those were pretty cheap. Most of those have increased, have skyrocketed because the Chinese market and all those markets that are not really well understood by the general market offer such, let's say, shorter term investing possibilities with the possibility for extremely long term, high return on invested capital, great businesses, modes, etc, etc. So you really have to find those specific stock picking stocks that will give you great returns or that have a very positive risk reward no matter what happens in the markets. So always think about, okay, if I'm investing, what's the risk? Can I take the risk and what's the reward? And always look for positive asymmetric rewards in relation to the risks. And number three, something that I will be talking a little bit more because I'm really into researching how to position myself how to find fragilities is to be hedged or go short. But that's again something that 98% of the population shouldn't do. I will talk about it, I share, I document what I do, share my research, so you can expect interesting videos on that. However, again, I will also make a video why it is not for 98% of the population. So I have given you option one, cash, option two, hedges, gold, hard assets, real estate, commodities. So really something opposite than what the current market offers, current stock market. Specific knowledge, number three, specific knowledge about companies, about markets, about sectors. If you don't have that specific knowledge, go back to cash, easiest, and wait for lower valuations. If you're just investing court to valuations like Buffett is doing, he's buying nothing practically, he's just piling up cash. So when there will be something cheap, he will buy that on the cheap. So you might do as well as Buffett is doing because that might be the best investment strategy there is. Just reallocate your cash or 
to smarter investments if you find any if not just stay in cash and happily wait and enjoy what you have earned over the last nine years and number four going short which is or hedging yourself by going short which is a very very delicate strategy which i will talk about so you will see if it is something for you or not thank you for watching looking forward to your comments what do you think about investing in the current market where to invest where to find bargains or where to find value for long term let's say rational investors see you in the next video